Nigeria, the giant of Africa, the most populous nation on the African continent, a country blessed with vast and beautiful lands, biggest economy in Africa. Natural and mineral resources, arts, culture, emerging technology, a nation rich with potential and possibility. Still, this nation remains the second largest open defecator in the world, following only behind India. 47 million Nigerians defecate in the open. In spite of these statistics, there's reason for hope. In the recent past, five local governments were declared open defecation free. Das local government area in Ochi State is one of such examples. Das proves what is possible. Python <laughs> A duk lokacin da wannan zance ta so na tuna da wannan rishi da ne ba karmin matsala na fuskanta a wancin lokacin ba There is almost no household so far before the intervention that does not have records of deaths as a result of these diseases that man have the power to do away with diarrhea typhoid fever dysentery they have their roots through open defecation. When people practice open defecation, they are simply exposing themselves and their families to sources of pollution. More exposure means polluted water sources, contraction of disease, family members becoming sick. Loved ones begin to die. Their children doesn't go to, to school. Instead of being in, in classrooms, they are always at hospital beds. It's a loss everywhere. A lot of things that are yaro yena chiwo ntiki ah ah amaya ne guda wa ne zau haka ana damu damu che intepito ati je ba engida ba u ya zate zote sabi damu chizi waku mo ani mada chang ba u weni zanche weni kashi aure u weni nami je sabi ta u kante dehi kate gidansa u che ya sabi mata waku mo yani je mata piya de haka nang. There is no dignity. The women went to the to the forest to, to eat themselves, and there is the risk, the security risk to their to their well-being. So there is a big problem there associated with the dignity of the human being. Open defecation have affected so many aspects of life. This is a situation that was inherited in us before intervention. This project started in Mauritius in 2010, and uh, we started with three LGS, uh, and DAS was one of those LGS. Uh, this is a, an approach that tends to get communities to take action on ending issues around sanitation, especially open defecation, on their own. You had a commitment from the local authority and a commitment from the from the people, they were open to change. They were convinced that they will need to induce some changes within their communities and bring it up to a level where open defecation is no longer tolerated. UNICEF provides the platform. RUASA provides the technical support through WASH unit. And then the WASH unit utilizes stakeholders at local level who are the traditional leaders community leaders, influential persons, and religious leaders. All of these plays an active role. We 
worked hand in hand with our district heads, as well along the line with the village heads, along the line with the settlement heads, to ensure that every household has a latrine. And it's by no any other magic, but rather by collective effort. And they used available tools and methodologies to trigger community-led total sanitation. This is where you start to have a conversation between the community and those people uh, coming from the LGAs, the, the authorities, the wash authorities. And the people at the end were convinced that this is a direction that they will need to take and they started the process. And it, it took time, it took a lot of effort, a lot of supervision. Those people who came to trigger, they went back to verify that things are moving into the right direction. Each and every of this community was visited by a team where the community members were gathered together, the male and the female, the children, nobody was left behind for them to understand the, effect, the disadvantages of open defecation and then come off collectively on their own, agree that we have understood that open defecation is not a good thing, this is something that has to do with attitude. So change of attitude is, attitude is gradual. Farko loka chin do le munja jere chia kwa hala na mo saman bin gida gida mo fatakad de mutani yim bayang eri barakati do kumaya de dat eid sabta chiruansu do kumaya de dat sabta chib bayang gidansu do sabo de sauru do kuma kazan ta wanda de sa kwa lara de sauransu. Shine mukan zaga gida gida mu duba tsaftan gidaje sa'an nan kuma mukan zaga bohula gurin shan ruwa mu ga yanayin tsaftan gurin shan ruwan mu wasu ba su amincewa game da shawarin da muka ba su to ganin cewa da suka zo suka ga mun fara aikin gayya muna hada kai mu taimaka mu wannan to sai kusan cin anguwan marafa kowa ya ba mu hadin kai bisa ga ganin hadin kan da muka yi in ka ce baraka bai ba ma baka da karfi da hada kai mu je mu maka aikin gayya to idan yanda muka yi mu mutun daya biyu da aka ga nasaran gaba daya sai muka samu hadin kan mutanen anguwan marafa When the communities are mobilized to stop open defecation and provide toilet for their households, the traditional leaders did not go to sleep. They follow up with the community members to see that they achieve that need. Shuagabana adine duka muka hada kai muka galale al umma musun pita daga cikin wannan kangi. Kusan ma yanzu ba ma salga ba ingantaccen salga muke gina wa yanzu ta bangaren wash a dace taimake Kenya mutanen masu rungumi wannan shiri suna taimaka ma yanki wanda ba shi da hali ana taimaka masa baya muna nan muna sai siminti shine UNICEF ta nemi mu da ba mu training a matsayin mu zama TV sune masu TV shine mana fansu shine masu gina gina harkokin sarage suka koya mana yayin da muna gina ginin harkokin sarage wa jama'a kuma gaskiya har ga Allah muna samu alheri a cikin harkokin gina sarage da muke people would opt for constructing their own latrines and use them to dispose of uh, sewage in a, in a hygienic matter and this is this is what we are aiming for suna gina man ingantaccen toilet da ne ya kare ni daga kamuwa da cututtuka wanda kudaje Zasu Jesu zauna kan kashi su raba mana wajen iyalaina da sauran jama'a gaba da you begin to see this rapid change attitudinal change coming on board the diseases beginning to diminish so the communities now see the impact visibly that really this has come to save their lives it's now less 
most of the diseases like measles and fecal oral diseases like diarrhea and others now is less. Aida and Kazuba are to live here. Hakaba. So, what they want to do is to go to Amma in tundum ka to Nisala Gemuna and Pani Shikumaga Rua me septa ba jingya ba kome kulumuna chikum koshin lapia. So what I could guess kiam gana shine mumuna good ya Musukung yan ruasa the unisep gumid the one nan a la amariska kaman akasa. I bin de sa da yun pression rumune. The look at chinkam would be a waiba, she has a bama kula de septa, she has a kudi ba ma samu muka yara makaranta amma yanzu da wannan wayar wan yazo sai muka gode musu saboda wannan koyar mana da suke yi muka samu muka rike shi yaro biyu a yanzu aka kam yaran mu suna makaranta sosai sosai har gaba da jami'a ma suna kan yi mun samu daman sa yaran ma makarantu saboda da ku dadin muke kishi a wurin jinya shi jinya cin su yanzu shine muke masu karatu da shi da kuma kwanci hankali mu wanda da zaka dana ka ta da wani daga hankali ka samu daman nisuwa wuri da wanda zaka ne abinda zaka cika ra'ayi rayuwanka da shi to gaskiya magana ina gani an yi nasara ta wannan bangare salga ina gani a nawa rayuwa ne bayan mutum zai rike addinin sa to salga ya kamata yake shi muhimmanci tunda ciwo ba zai bar kowa ba does lg has 351 communities all these 351 communities are now have been certified and declared and celebrated as open defecation free if DAS can be open defecation free, other local governments can be open defecation free. And it means Nigeria can be open defecation free. So Nigeria can be an example to the rest of the world. We say when there is a will, there is a way. And this is exactly what happened. People were determined that this is a change that they will need to take. And they did it. And when we look at about it, when it could happen in DAS, why couldn't it happen somewhere else? That's the whole idea. We need to understand better what has happened there and try to transfer this experience to other places so that they could replicate them. And move Education to us is proof that this OD campaign is working and it is doable. And we're using the same model, the same approach to replicate it all over the country. We are capable of making Nigeria open defecation for you.